Hi, my name is Jan Tielens and today I would like to introduce you to a new component, uh, the jQuery loader for SharePoint 2007. I already downloaded uh, the installer for the jQuery loader. It's uh, just an ASPX page uh, sitting over here on my desktop. And I'm just going to navigate to a SharePoint site and to a document library where there can be, can be any document library. And I'm going to upload that ASPX page. This is just a plain white basic site page with no code behind or anything like that. So you can just upload it to any document library in SharePoint. And when it, this thing is uploaded, I'm just going to click on it to open up that page. And you're going to notice that you've got quite some options to select to install the jQuery loader. Uh, the first time that you install the jQuery loader, it's very easy to just click over here and um, this page will automatically select the most common options uh, for a first time install. Uh, the first option is going to specify that a document library called JS should be created. Uh, the second option is going to provision the jQuery library and that uh, JS document library. The third option will actually uh, provision the jQuery loader in that document library. And the fourth option is going to update the master page. Uh, so some script tags uh, will be added uh, to load those uh, JavaScript files. By default, the default.master will be changed, but if you're using another master page, you can change that name over here. Now to show you the results, I'm going to choose as well to add a test web part that will tell me if the jQuery loader uh, was successfully um, executed or not. Notice that at the bottom of the screen, I've got the installation log, will, uh, which will update itself when I click start installation over here. And hopefully everything goes okay. There we go, installation sequence completed. And let's navigate to the home page of the SharePoint site. And as you can see, uh, quite basic web part is added or which is displaying that uh, jQuery is active on this site. Now what has happened in the background? Well, first thing that has happened, uh, the jQuery, uh, sorry, the JS document library is created. Uh, you can navigate to that document library by just applying uh, the JS suffix uh, uh, after the URL of your site. Uh, you cannot navigate to it directly using the quick launch because it's a hidden document library. And as you can see, the jQuery um, library is there and the jQuery load, loader li um, uh, JavaScript file is also there. Now, the web part that I've got on the home page of my site is not very, very exciting. Uh, let's try to do something more interesting. Uh, I'm going to navigate back to my installer page and I'm going to add an additional um, uh, option. And let's uh, try to enhance uh, the task view that you've got in a task list. Uh, this option is going to add the Spark line uh, JavaScript file and the enhanced task JavaScript file uh, to the JS document library. Uh, let's click Start Installation once again. We're already done. And if I navigate to that JS file, uh, JS document library, uh, you will see two additional files. Uh, Spark line, by the way, is a very nice uh, jQuery extension. Enhanced tasks is a script that will make use of that Spark line uh, JavaScript library. Notice that uh, in this JS document library, I've got some metadata uh, which can specify, first of all, if the JavaScript files are loaded automatically, yes or no. You can also specify a sequence uh, to determine the order in which they are loaded. And in the apply to column, you can type um, a regular expression uh, which will need to match the URL uh, of the pages where those files actually should be loaded. And finally, we've got a group, which is just um, a text field. Uh, you can fill out any value. And this is just an easy way to manage all, all your JavaScript, uh, group them together. Now, what is the result? Well, if I navigate to my task list, and you can see uh, some things happening over here. Uh, first of all, if a task is completed, I've got uh, the check, uh, check mark in front of uh, the completed uh, status. Uh, also, when a task is uh, having a high priority, you can see an exclamation mark. And at the right hand side, um, based on the percentage complete column, uh, you can see a nice uh, chart being rendered. Uh, this is the work of that Sparklines uh, JavaScript uh, library. And to prove to you that this is actually working, uh, if I go, for example, to this task, and if I edit this task, 
and set it for example to I don't know maybe 80% uh, let's hit OK as you can see that uh, um, that icon will be updated as well now to have an idea what's happening uh, behind the scenes uh, a thing that you can do is uh, go to the URL of the page that you're at and apply the suffix question mark log is equal to one and that will actually open up uh, a um, floating uh, diff in your page which will display some log messages you can see for example um, the version of jQuery um, the things that uh, the jQuery loader is actually doing and uh, every component can also add its own uh, log messages that can give you some interesting information uh, another thing that I would like to show you is another example that's available in the jQuery loader installer um, and I'm going to enable the task notifications what is the task notifications going to do well if I now navigate once again to the home page for example you're going to see a nice message at the bottom of my screen that will mention hey there are like two tasks that are still open for your user account um, and uh, for every new task that is being added and assigned to me I, the, uh, I'm going to see uh, a message like that so if I create for example task number six uh, which is not started I need to assign it to myself let's hit OK and there you go uh, I can see that message over here and the final demo that I would like to show you is uh, also related to the task list it's called uh, Ajax lists and uh, this option once again is going to add some JavaScript files uh, to the JS document library and those JavaScript files will um, enable well, some kind of Ajax functionality in the task list to update uh, certain values um, for example if I open up the drop down over here for this first task uh, you can see that uh, the um, drop down menu over here has been extended uh, with some extra options for example I can update the priority of this task and I can uh, set it to normal now notice that when I'm going to click um, and there is no post back uh, but uh, the JavaScript sitting behind this menu item will dynamically update the user interface and of course save value back to SharePoint so let's uh, click on this one and as you can see the priority has been uh, updated and this, the, the same thing I can do for status for example I can set it to complete it and of course I can also set the percentage complete to 100% as you can see everything uh, will nicely update itself maybe I can switch this one to high as well and you can see it will be added over here uh, with the icon final thing that I would like to show you is uh, the fact that I can also update the description uh, value uh, the description is just a text field so when I click on this one I've got a nice uh, um, pop-up or a dialog which will allow me to uh, edit the description value let's say uh, this is cool let's hit OK no post back but the data is saved to SharePoint so if I um, go back to this task uh, you can see that this message has been saved now once again if you just apply question mark log to the URL of your page now uh, you can see some uh, interesting stuff uh, happening in that uh, log window also if I go and update for example the status uh, you can see everything what's going on uh, behind the scenes Okay, so far for a quick uh, screencast for installing the jQuery loader and making use of the samples that are embedded in that jQuery loader.